Boom! What is going on guys? Hope you're having a great Easter Sunday. In this video, I'm going to be showing you three ways how to save a Matterport virtual tour. And we're starting right now. What's going on guys? If you haven't yet, stop, go to our YouTube channel, click subscribe and click that little bell too. So you get notifications whenever we post a new video, you will be the first person to know. Thank you so much for the support. And now the video you've been wanting to watch. going on guys hope you're doing well i actually got in from puerto rico uh, at about 9 a.m this morning i had to wake up at about 3 a.m to catch my flight that lead that i uh, left at five so i'm a little tired but still pumping these videos out for you guys on an easter sunday um but let's get down to business so the topic of conversation i really want to discuss today is going to be how to save a matterport virtual tour and what i exactly mean by that is essentially saving you space on your Matterport account. So the model that you're trying to continuously show off and, and that's active will continue to do so. Because like I mentioned in this blog right here, Matterport's great, but one thing that I think we can all agree on is the pricing isn't the best and they definitely don't give you enough spaces for what you pay for. So here are three tried and true methods that we use to essentially flip the script and still have active spaces and actually save space on our Matterport account. So let's get started. So guys, the first thing that I really want to talk about is creating your client their own free Matterport account. And these are for tours that are condensed into one model and they have to be shot on a Matterport Pro 2. That's what I've kind of seen from a lot of uh, clients who are needing this new account. The tour actually needs to be shot on a Matterport Pro 2. And um, there's huge potential to upsell, honestly, because I'll show you guys here really quickly. Let's just say that you have a, I don't know, um, like a premium plus account or pro plus, whatever it is, and you have like a hundred spaces, right? And let's just say this one space that you have, you know, unfortunately is 101. So you won't be able to, and just like logistically speaking, you need all hundred spaces. You can't, you know, archive any more spaces right now. So in the interim, you're going to need to create a new uh, account for your client, which as you can see right here, if you go to the free plan that they have, you can actually have one active model. And it's nice because they don't charge any annual fee. There's no monthly fee. You're good to go. All right. And this is nice because if you have, let's just say like a brick and mortar store, a, you know, restaurant, retail space, dealership, whatever, that is just one model. This is perfect because not only can you create a free profile for them and transfer it, but you'll be able to do this for more money. Now, since you're not getting that monthly hosting fee, you can actually say, hey, Mike Smith, our client, instead of charging you $500 for this virtual tour, I'm gonna charge you $1,000 to do the virtual tour and then also set up your own free account that you're not gonna be paying for on a monthly basis, okay? Which is nice because, again, if you're dealing with something, you know, as minuscule as five hundred dollars, I don't want to say five hundred dollars is not that much money. It is, but in just relative terms to what the average price that we give out, it's not that much. However, for people who are just starting out, you're getting forty dollars a month essentially for hosting that you otherwise wouldn't have if you just said, you know what, we're not going to be able to do this. Um, just because we don't have any space in our account, right? So that's one way to kind of flip the script and get people to continuously, I don't say continuously getting you hosting because it's really just going to be a one-time fee after that, but in the presence of just showing you how to break everything down, that makes sense. But I think you guys get the total picture on that, okay? So that being said, that's number one. Let's go now to the second option, which is gonna be creating a Matterport BIM file. And for those who are not aware of what a BIM file is, it is essentially downloading a Matterport virtual tour to be able to upload it to a handful of different platforms, okay? And this is great because, again, if you have just a standard Matterport tour that you have the link in the code, you're not essentially downloading that. You're kind of just like obviously taking that uh, space from the Matterport 
account and then you're sending everything out, you know, via text or email. You're not necessarily like downloading that tour um, and copying it and sending it out. It's a little bit of, you know, difference, but with this, you're absolutely able to do this. So let me go in one of our accounts and I will show you guys how to place a Matterport BIM order. All right. Let's just take the Starbucks that we did in Louisiana. What you guys want to do is go to add-ons and then you want to come all the way down here to where you have a BIM file. And it's essentially, I'll just read this right here. Transform your Matterport space to a 3D rivet model in a 2D CAD. I forgot to mention that, but you also get a 2D CAD file that can be utilized through the uh, building lifestyle uh, life cycle, including design, construction, facilities, maintenance. So this is perfect for a lot of developers, people in construction, people that are um, really just like on the design and management space that need CAD files, but also really need to still have this um, uh, Matterport tour. Okay, so it's a rivet model, which is a little subtle different. Let me see if I can actually pull up a model right here for you guys. because it's essentially a little bit different. Let me just go on Google Images really quickly. Cool. So from this, you kind of have um, a good perspective right here. Like if I even type in Matterport. Boom. So here is what it's going to look like essentially. Um, it's gonna be a little different in terms of the uh, how do I say this? Just like the overall accessibility. However, you're still gonna be able to utilize it pretty much similarly to how you could before. So I definitely think for what you're looking to do, God forbid you have to archive a couple spaces, transform them into BIM file, and you could also upcharge the client, which is great, okay? So other than that, I would say this is a pretty good option. Um, let's just kind of dive in here. So the pricing, uh, yeah, so the pricing estimate really is based upon um, the uh, quote, which is, and this is again, a huge caveat, and this is something that is really only available for larger spaces, I will add. So spaces that are, as you can see here, greater than 50,000 square feet, which for a good majority won't be, but for a large facility, I would recommend doing this because if you aren't able to upsell them on a monthly hosting fee, it would be nice to actually extrapolate a BIM file in uh, the rivet format and then you're actually able to archive that model on the matterport account however you're still able to have an active model with the bim okay so this is for like larger spaces um as you can see this is not cheap uh oh i'm sorry i stand corrected you can actually get stuff for um smaller spaces however again like this is pretty expensive like for you know something that's less than you know, a thousand square feet, you're paying 245, where it's like, you know, I would say on average for spaces that are less than a thousand, we would charge like $500. Like it really depends on a couple of intangibles. I'm just like thinking out loud here. Um, but these can get pretty expensive. As you can see right here, these, these are not cheap prices by any means whatsoever. Um, and then you can see the timeline here as well. So I would say this is the more expensive option, but uh, again, if the client has the budget, it would be a good opportunity to upsell. So that is how you essentially work the BIM file pitch into the mix if your client, again, does not want to pay monthly hosting and you don't necessarily have uh, any space on your account. All right. And now we're gonna be going on to the third uh, option, which is the third party usage of other software, such as MetaReal to replicate the Matterport model. And for those who are not familiar with MetaReal, it's a Canadian company uh, which they essentially take panos that you did from the Matterport tour and they essentially create a um, dollhouse view of the entire uh, model, which I believe that MetaReal does not currently offer uh, tags. However, I think that in the future, it would be something very smart and you know, keen of them and just like for, forward thinking for them to actually offer that. So. Uh, I don't believe that they offer this right now, but um, I might be staying corrected in the future. And I actually thought that, oh, here we go, cool. So here is a good example of the uh, MetaReal. So as you can see right here, this is actually just like a screenshot. 
And when you actually are in your MetaReal account, you're able to uh, take the dollhouse and flip it around upside down, blah, 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 kind of like how you are with um, Matterport. However, this is just like a, um, essentially like a screenshot. So I'm not able to do it on that end, but rest assured you're able to toggle uh, by floor and you're also able to, um, like I said, kind of just move throughout as if you are there. So very, very similar touch to uh, the Matterport uh, features. And I would actually argue that MetaReal's dollhouses are cleaner simply because they're taking panos that you already shot and they're just really extrapolating and getting rid of any um, data that really isn't needed. So it's a pretty nice, I would say, you know, um, advantage. And this is kind of the opposite of uh, the using the BIM because it's so cheap. Like if we go on the uh, blog, I think it's you know four dollars a pano USD, or that might be in Canadian dollars. Either way, it's really really cheap. So you have to think, you know, let's just say again you're dealing with this right here, which I'll be honest, guys, I think we had one, two, three, four, five uh, panos. So what four times five? That's twenty dollars Canadian. Which again, I don't know the exchange rate, but let's just say for all sakes and purposes, that's a little bit higher. So it was like 30 or $35. Um, that's again, not much money at all, to be frank. And so I would definitely recommend uh, using this if you're balling on a budget. If again, you did not upsell the client on hosting and you need to archive the model, I would say this is another great option to do in the interim. But I think, uh, honestly, all these are good methods. It really just depends on what exactly you're working with in terms of the client and the budget, of course. All right. So guys, that was three ways to essentially save a Matterport virtual tour, whether you're creating their own account, creating, excuse me, a BIM file for them, or using a third party software such as MetaReal to actually replicate the model. I would think that these are all three, uh, three pretty good options that you guys can utilize on any given basis, any given niche, any given client. Again, it just really depends on the budget, um, what you've actually shot, the space, uh, what's the square footage, and you know, those are pretty much the intangibles uh, that you need to be working with, that you need to be thinking about rather. Uh, guys, so thank you so much for tuning in on this Easter Sunday. Uh, if you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. I'll be happy to answer them myself. In the interim, uh, I love making these videos. Uh, if you haven't yet subscribed, we post a lot of awesome content, whether it's you know a dealership or a school or anything in real estate. We post every single niche for the most part, really just helping small people who are looking to grow their own virtual tour company. And then obviously companies who need these services, we provide that as well. We are both uh, on that uh, same team and we're just uh, two-way players essentially. We really just wanna help out um, the best way possible. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Look forward to the next video. It's gonna be great. Uh, subscribe if you haven't yet. Comment any questions, concerns, thoughts below, and I will see you on the next one. Thank you.